After many months in Scandinavia, we'd begun to feel the bite of winter and had a deadline to reach Berlin in a matter of days to meet up with family. Whoa. So it's seven o'clock in the morning and we're just about to board the ferry to Rostock in Germany. Hopefully it's a calm crossing. So right now we're on the ferry to uh, Rostock in Germany from Sweden and it's pretty mixed emotions. We've been in Scandinavia now for four months and it really did feel like home. Landing on mainland Europe, we began our journey south to Berlin, camping out in rural spots in the countryside before spending time in a big city. We kept ourselves entertained with nature and finally said goodbye to our Halloween pumpkin. His mouth, it's like sunk down. Should we go and bury him? Being in a new country didn't change our routine, even with the local cats wanting to become part of our team. I have not lost the plot. I'm just fed up of long, greasy hair. When you live in a van, it's just <sighs> annoying washing it. This makes life easier. Let's go. Already started. You ready? The beginning of the end. I should donate this hair. People can make wigs out of it. Each country has its own take on campervans and it's great to find designated overnight parking spots in Germany which allows you a legit place to park for the night. Campervan shuffle. So we're in Berlin at the moment, um, we got here last night, uh, we're staying for free about two and a half miles away from the city centre along with some other campers and uh, a couple of caravans as well. It's, it's a nice location, even though it's in the city it's relatively quiet, which is great.
We met up with Theo's parents who'd flown in to spend a couple of days with us in the city. It just so happened that we were in the city at the time they were celebrating the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, allowing us to share the celebrations with Berliners and thousands of other people. Hundreds of lit-up balloons lined the area where the wall had once stood, being released one at a time. It was a fantastic moment to be part of. We parked Belthy up in a side street for the next few days whilst we shared an apartment with Theo's parents and spent the days roaming the beautiful city as autumn descended and the tree-lined streets began to shed their leaves. You can't visit a city without hitting up its famous landmarks and memorials. Our favourite was Tempelhof, an abandoned airfield which had been taken over by locals as an activity area with plenty of cyclists, runners, even kite skaters, zooming along the disused runways amongst the abandoned signs. Our time in the city was drawing to a close, winter was descending and we had the south still in our sights. Thanks for watching, subscribe now and if you like the video give us a thumbs up.